This scrapbook and journal belonged to Arda Ewing, an early 20th century female American bookseller. She worked for J.K. Gill, a large distributor of books in the Pacific Northwest. At the age of just 22, she became head of their book department and worked as a manager and buyer. Here we have Arda's reading journal. She's annotated it with her name and she's written some books I have read. It's alphabetized and she's made a note of all the authors she's reading and the titles. We have famous authors, Austin Bronte, uh, Thomas Hardy, J.K. Jerome. Uh, in some instances, she's also put the date of something that she was reading. So here we can see 1921. So it gives us an insight into the types of books that she was reading. Here she's preserved a letter from the owner addressing an instance of bad customer service. So there's a report that a working man came into the shop just before Christmas. He wanted to make a purchase and no one waited on him. And the man made a complaint to say that he thought that this was because he was a working man. And so Gil here is saying it's a very serious matter and any man or woman, whatever they're wearing, is entitled to have the same degree of attention upon them as any person in expensive clothes. The scrapbook is a testament to her professional interests as well as her personal. We have here the world's best books, which she's marked up and annotated. And here we have a list of best books for young people, recommendations. These are the kinds of things she would have used in her professional line of work. Here we have an interview with Arda herself, keeper of the books in The American Businesswoman. And she says, books have always been a source of great inspiration to me. Here the interviewer talks about the calmness and serenity of Arda. And she says that it was no doubt nurtured by the clear vision she obtained in the world of books. They lead those who love them down a charmed path into a world of dreams. This is an example of something personal that she's preserved um, birthday wishes sent by telegram. Dearest Margaret, we wish you many happy returns. Would like to have something nice to send, but as we have not, we will send you lots of love instead. Together, the scrapbook and this journal give amazing insight into the life of an American bookseller working in the early 20th century.